Today, Minecraft brought out a brand new update with four new add-ons. This is the World Utilities. I'm going to download it and trial it out on a new world to see if it is any good. The idea behind this, in case you're curious, is that you get uh, some uh, utilities for your world, a frame breaker, an explosive pickaxe, a vein miner, a tree capacitator, a multi-block pickaxe, an omni tool, and a spawn wrench. I'm very curious about what all of those things do, and so I'll be applying it to a new world, and we'll find out together. So, with that said, I am going to start uh, with a world uh, that I am like vaguely familiar with. I will turn on a bunch of other experiments just to just to be a little bit fun with that. But we're going to turn on the, uh, the we're going to use the seed that I have uh, used from most recent Seed Sunday. Really, really like this one. We're going to turn on the add-on by going to behavior packs. And as you can see, it is, <laughs> actually, I have no idea. You know, honestly, a uh, world utilities. There we go. So yeah, this is brand new. It just came out today. And I want to show you what it's really like to play uh, because that is what I like to do. Um, I've been reviewing all of the add-ons as they've been coming out, and I think it could be fun to do it with this one. So, uh, yeah, let's start a brand new world. Let's see the guidebook, and first things first, let's read the guidebook's guide on the guide, which is uh, book, wooden pickaxe, wooden shovel, wooden axe, wooden sword, and then you can make a book. I That feels like a complicated way to make a book, but let's just not lose this one. And then we can start with presumably the tree cap capitator. Oh, yeah, capitator. Like it's going to... Capitate someone? Yeah, capitate. It's going to capitate a tree. So two iron ingots, a diamond axe, and two redstone will destroy a log and automatically break the entire tree. That is expensive, but pretty cool, right? Um, the same, by the way, I want to make an explosive pickaxe so bad. Three TNT and two stick is what we need for that. So if we can do that, we can make small explosions around me. Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds really fun, honestly. And uh, the other one that I'm kind of curious about is the multi-block pickaxe. Three diamond pickaxes together, but you'll get more ores. Okay, so we need to get a lot of diamonds to take advantage of these. But now by having this add-on on, we get a lot more power from anything that we do get. So let's firstly look around and see if we can't find... Because, you know, we need some diamonds uh, early game. And the easiest way to find dumb diamonds in the early game is honestly with buried treasure, actually. I think... <laughs> honestly, all things considered, that might be the best move. So, with that said, hello, everyone. How's it going? Let's uh, turn on coordinates. Reminder, when you do turn on any add-on, like these ones right here, it will disable achievements, which is kind of a bummer, but you can understand why, like, I don't know, a frame breaker might do that. Or Actually, how do you get a frame breaker? It's free uh, end stone, one diamond pickaxe, and free eye offenders. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty intense. Also, take note, this tool only has 12 uses. Intriguing. Okay, so, um, <laughs> 12 uses. So, you can destroy one portal. Honestly, in a pack that only has eight tools, that does feel weird. And the void chest um, allows you to interact and dispose of unwanted items, which is also pretty niche. Like, how often do you really need that? Spawner wrench will allow you to... Oh, you can relocate it. Wow. Okay, that's huge. Chat, you can move spawners around your world. Okay, that is actually incredibly exciting. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start over here. We're in a lovely clearing. And I'm going to work my way over to uh, where the stronghold is. It's at about minus a thousand, plus a thousand. And uh, along the way, we could just try our very best to run across any, uh, I, I know, fun fun structures. I felt like the, the buried treasure is what I have in my mind particularly. But whatever we find along the way, I'm sure it will be great and worthwhile. So, with that said... Um, Honestly, actually, I feel like you want a desert temple. Um, yeah, okay, here's, here's my thinking. I think that we want a desert temple fairly early on in the game. And so, even though this is a valid seed, you know, this is a very frozen seed, which is great for getting a bit of food or whatever else. But I think that's not what we want. I think we're going to instead be very insistent on getting diamonds nice and early so we can make the tree uh, capitator. And uh, we're also going to need to get some iron going on. So yeah, we will be working to get each of these things, but it'll be fun. This mod pack sounds OP and in, uh, not in a fun way. I uh, I see what you mean by that. To be totally honest with you, I, I think this first pack is... Uh, it's a little OP, but also they're kind of... They're not like early game items. So that's that's meant to be the balance, I'm sure. Like the Omni tool takes a diamond axe, a diamond pickaxe, and a diamond shovel. So all of this stuff isn't actually easy, easily gotten on a new world. You're going to have to grind your way out there. And so at some point, it sounds like we should just throw it onto our all-add-on <laughs> Let's Play world and uh, move it this way. 
Anyway, um, yeah, what, what do we got over here? We got a village. But I, I, I think that for stuff like th this add-on is made for your existing worlds. I thought it would be made for new worlds and that you get powerful, powerful gear. But instead, it's OP gear for worlds where you've already gotten deep in there. And so that's where I think we should use it, chat. You know, let's let's go ahead. We, uh, It's a live stream. We can switch a route. There's a tiny chance we'll get a timer axe from that. Uh, that place over there, but uh, yeah, did you tell your grandparents we said hi? Uh, I, I did not I, I'll pass on the hello uh, right now. Uh, hello <laughs> But from Dasha specifically um, You know, I I feel like there's a There's a certain age where you'd probably be like shocked and horrified that there are Russians on the internet saying nice things to you Like you know, what, aren't, aren't those the enemy? I'm fairly sure uh, but I, I, I assume not at that point. Anyway, um, I, um, I, I've been having a, a long and uh, a, a pretty pretty interesting day, honestly. I, also, if you could make an ad on what you would want it to be. I don't know what you'd mean there, Corbin, but yes, exactly. Okay, so with that said, we've actually got two blacksmiths here. So this is a fairly decent seed for it. Uh, we got an iron pickaxe and some iron armor. The iron armor is worth nothing to me, but it's it's nice that it's here. And we'll try this second blacksmith, and if not, we'll try the Let's Play world. Again, again I think some add-ons are really good for new worlds, and some add-ons are basically made for your existing ones. So far, the marketplace is much bigger on that second type. So yeah, just two... We got some iron, which is nice, but then we've just got some apples. And so this, by the way, this is a really, really cool seed. Like, look at the, <laughs> look at the contrast of this plains village perfectly overlapping into uh, this place right here. All the more reason to use it, I am sure. But for right now, uh, we will be bouncing out of it, despite the amount that I enjoy this. Seriously, it's, it's pretty nice. Speaking of pretty nice, though, let's go ahead and let's download a new copy of the Let's Play World. Never put add-ons on an existing copy if it's a long-term survival world. You will be disabling, you know, it's, it's it's a very serious thing. But let's uh let's add on behavior pack, um, world utilities right now. Big fan of it, and let's see what happens. I think you meant to say, what well, Adam would you make if you could make one? That makes so much more sense, mechanical <laughs> number here. Um, oh no, I've got I've, I've got a I've got a texture pack installed, so. Sorry, internet. One sec. Also, look, it says modified world right here. This world may not look or behave in the same way as non-modified worlds, and you can't earn achievements. Very interesting. Also, David Solovano, Toy Cat is love, Toy Cat is life, Toy Cat is yes. I, too, am horrified the internet exists. <laughs> you know, there is a, there are a lot of things. I wonder how my life would be without the internet. Like, ignoring the whole, like, obviously I would be doing a, a different career, most likely. Uh, I, I mean, I assume... That there wouldn't be like, oh yeah, we get an in-person gathering at the local town hall and I do a Minecraft stream and people throw me a pound coin here or that. I'm assuming that wouldn't happen in a world without the internet. Let's just maybe boldly so. But uh, yeah, so here's my here's my guidebook for the add-on. And uh, why do you possess so many worlds? Uh, I actually got rid of a bunch of worlds recently. So I'm doing pretty well, I'll have you know. So um, yeah, with that said, what texture pack was that? Uh, you can watch it in my video that came out yesterday. Um... I, I was playing around with the realms. Oh no, it's from the realms plus video last Wednesday. Um, please do a hundred day survival in high tea. <laughs> I'll pass. Thank you for the idea though. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we head in here because this is where the tools are, and we're gonna start by making a multi tool. So we need a diamond axe, we need a diamond shovel, and we need a diamond pickaxe. Uh, oh, I've already got a diamond axe. I, I guess I got the diamond axe sorted. I've definitely got a pickaxe just lying around in here, without too much use. We'll just use that one. And then we'll use this diamond shovel because it's basically gone. So I think we can probably do it in the inventory. Nope. Needs a crafting table. Let's go over there. And let's do it. So pickaxe. Oh, sorry. Shovel. Axe. Pickaxe. Do you have to do that? And Do I need something else as well? So I'll go to the guidebook. A omni tool. It requires six honey block. Oh, that's clever, chat. Because you need to... You need to glue it together somehow, apparently. <laughs> That's silly. That's very silly. But let's fly over to the part of the world where I keep my honey blocks. Assuming I do have any honey blocks, actually. But we'll go over there, and then we'll stick the three tools together, and we'll have a multi-tool, and we'll test it first. And then we can make all of the other things that we want to as well. I, um... Hey, if I have my world on preview rather than latest release, it would work okay. I'm worried it would break it. If you open it in the preview, you can never go back to the not preview. That is the risk that you are running effectively by doing that. Okay, so this is where I keep my honey chat. I've got a big bee 
He's a very happy bee. Look at him. This is <laughs> honestly, it's one of those small things that brings a bit of joy to my world. It's uh, there's a famous phrase that if it sparks joy, you should probably do it. And this is definitely that. Ah, look, look at all the bees. They are sparking so much joy to me. So I only have two honey blocks right here. And so what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to craft some of this glass into some bottles. And then use, yeah, you know what? This will all work out, hopefully. I'm going to throw this on the ground. Not necessary anymore. Again, it's a copy of the world. We don't need it. And now we're going to hop in here. Go. Okay, so we don't have any honey, chat. I I am impressed that I don't have any honey. Okay, wait, I've got these right here. So I think you need four honey bottles together, right, for this to work. So let's just uh, scoop it up. There's so many, so many bees around here. Let's scoop it and scoop it and go over here and give it a little scoopy scoop. Nope, no scoopy scoop over there. So yeah, if we want to make some honey blocks, sadly, I'm not going to be able to do that that way. So we'll move on to the other recipes. Um, so the vein, the tree capitator is the most interesting one to me. Diamond axe, two redstone and iron ingots. Uh, it's it's an intriguing recipe, so we'll, we'll give it a shot. Oh nice, a toy cat stream. Indeed, oh nice, a toy cat stream is here to for you to share. Um, oh god, what did I just do? Okay, awesome sorted. And um, bees, bees, buzzy bees, bees. Yes, indeed. Good to see you. When did scooping up honey have a water bucket sound? I think it's one of those weird bedrock things that we just accepted as normal. Even though we know it doesn't feel right. <laughs> but welcome, welcome to Vedrock. This is this is life. Um, so redstone and iron and a diamond axe, I think it was, makes the tree capitator. Let's uh, quickly check again. Redstone. Oh, two redstone, two diamonds. And then a diamond axe. So I should go get another diamond axe at some point. But for now, we'll just grab a second iron and a second redstone. And we'll hope that the uh, durability on this tool resets. Because if it's going to require all of that, it, it might not go perfectly for me. So, hey, tree capitator. Let's go. It has its durability restored. I'm excited for this chat. Oh, and now we can activate it or deactivate it. Do you think there's a good reason you ever would want to deactivate it, chat? It's uh, it's very curious. Um, so, uh, streams like this are great for playing video games while watching, says L as hell. I'm glad you. I'm glad you look forward to them for that reason. I I feel like that usually it's the chill and stream ones, you know, like chill and Minecraft streams that are better for that. I I feel like these ones you might you might miss what's going on with my tree capitator. So the explosive pickaxe is definitely my uh my it's it's the one that excites me a little bit more. And we can make it because we've got 27 gunpowder, and so that makes. We, we can make it. We, we can make it quite easily. We should have grabs for sand, which I'll do. Turn those into TNT, and so at the same time we try out the capitator, we'll try out the explosive pickaxe. So I've already got two of these tools. Now I need to make a vein miner. That is a diamond pickaxe, two redstone, two iron. Everything is two redstone and two iron. That's the that's the secret to success with this add-on. So we'll get one of those as well. You know, just the the ones that we can afford. We will afford, and we'll be good to go. Also, um, is this a copy of your world? Yes, it is. Do not install add-ons on long-term copies of your world. You will generally regret it. So, I put in the iron pick, diamond pickaxe, two redstone, two iron. It has to be unenchanted, is my guess, as to as to why that's not working. Um, so we'll, we'll try that out later. For now. Let's use the explosive pickaxe and let's use the tree capitator. So I want to get somewhere safe where I'm not going to destroy my base. So right here seems good. In fact, this is the most powerful place to do it. Because doing a tree activation on something like this... Like... Oh. <laughs> one sec. <laughs> doing it on a tree like this... Oh. You know, like, it's nice. You get four pieces of wood for the price of one. But also, it doesn't even mine that far. So it's, it's not that genius of an idea, in my opinion. Um, I, um, is this, uh, so what I'm going to try instead now is on the, on the jungle wood here. If this chops down an entire jungle tree, this is wild. Oh! Wow, look at that. It re and it gets it all too. It even gets the annoying bits that otherwise it's too hard to get to. That is actually very cool. Okay, have to say, 
You know, I'm, I'm cynical about many things in life, but that is not one of them. That is a very, very cool thing. And so the explosive pickaxe looks like this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Who is this for? What is the... Okay, but so, yeah. I, the tree capitator, this is this is the jungle removing tool. It, it's, it doesn't make any sense anywhere else, but it'll save you a lot of time in jungles and maybe the occasional spruce uh, tree. I, um... I'm glad, uh, I, I'm glad to see there actually are free non-marketplace add-ons. I think it's important you brought it to light. Yeah, a lot of people are, like, acting like they don't exist, and it's bad for everyone, the consumers and the people who are trying to, you know, like, come to critical opinions about the game. So I'm going to mine my way underground, and then I'm going to see what it looks like to mine. Okay, so this is what mining with the explosive pickaxe looks like. As you can see, it's quite easy to keep moving, but it is hard to... Like, it's hard to make a consistent tunnel because you're mining the blocks that you would otherwise need to be mining. And explosions aren't as consistent as you probably need. But it is very, very cool to make a tunnel like this. I think that people would spend some good money on making one of these. Like, uh, if if this cost 9 TNT or this cost, you know, 27 TNT, there is no TNT price people wouldn't pay for this just to use it in some circumstances if it were in vanilla Minecraft. It's obviously OP and it doesn't even make any sense. Like, surely you would activate the explosion instead of mining. But, uh, yeah, the fact that you can make big caves very easily and you can direct the explosions makes this actually handy, even if you're, like, doing stuff in creative. You could make a, a natural-looking cavern uh, fairly easily while still being fully in control. Although getting out of this might be hard. <laughs> yeah, you can't really, like, dig up to the surface like you can normally. So, um... Yeah, with that said, um, what's up, Andrew? Can't watch the stream right now, but I'll catch it later. Awesome! Good to see you, Luke Gallagher, anyway. So, uh, this guidebook also has, inside of it, the multi-block pickaxe. The multi-block pickaxe is three diamond pickaxes and a stick. So, I kind of want to try that. You know, I've got one, two, three, and I've got some sticks. Do you think we can combine them together? Yeah, I've got plenty of jungle logs now. You'll be pleased to know. So, let's go up here. Let's throw away uh, a salt lantern and some granite. Let's make ourselves a crafting table. Everyone loves a good crafting table. And then let's let's try it. So I'm, I'm betting it won't let me make it though because the three diamond pickaxes are all enchanted. And it looks like the game doesn't properly... Oh, I think... Yeah, the game isn't uh, letting you use... Oh, no. Okay, it works here. Perfect. Multi-block pickaxe. So now I've got... It actually says here... To... Okay, I, I like this. The last add-ons are kind of just like, work it out, read the book. This one says breaks multiple blocks at the same time. So let's see what that looks like. It feels like the TNT pickaxe is going to be better, but I would love to be wrong. Yeah, this is a 3x3 free free pickaxe, right? Yeah. That's all this does. Okay. So, I mean, it's not bad. Like, it's really, really handy for... It's basically a precise version of the explosive pickaxe. But... Also, at the same time, how many people need a precise version of that pickaxe? You know, this is a very niche tool. Uh, I like the idea that you could dig a perfectly 3x3 tunnel, but you can do that with commands quite easily. So it really is for uh, people who want to play survival instead of doing that, or if you want to, like, dig around specifically. Like, uh, you really can make some very oddly shaped blocks. Can you dig diagonally? Oh, if you dig diagonally, something weird happens. So if I... If I dig this way, it digs a 3x3 free free hole. If I dig there, yeah, so it's a 3x3 free free hole no matter what direction you're facing. So you can't dig diagonally, which is, you know, it's, it makes sense why you can't, but it is still kind of odd that it, the way it picks the blocks that it's going to do there for. Um, and yeah, you can do fun stuff with it. But the explosive pickaxe is much more reliable. Make, make all the blocks explode. Speaking of exploding, Pilly Bull. Wait, Pilly Bull? Billy Bull. No, Pilly Bull definitely... Thank you for becoming the 368th channel member. This pickaxe should have a comically large model. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It looks like... Honestly, you know what? It's not far off right, Dasher. Here is a hoe. Here is the multi-block. Or other, I guess we could say. Here is a neverite pickaxe. Here's... You know, you're not wrong. You, you, you've basically played it out. It should be even bigger, though. Even bigger. Always a good idea. So now we'll make a new staircase by digging the blocks under this one. And you can see just how quickly you can get to... Uh, if, if you know the patterns you're making, this makes for a really cool tool. 
Um, it's it's funny because I think um, one of the rules of default Minecraft is called uh, block by block. Jeb believes that Minecraft is not a block editing tool. It is a game. And everything you do should be done on a single block level. So he does, again, like based on what he said so far at least, he does not believe in the idea of uh, auto block places like this. But it is pretty nice. It is very, very nice. The only problem is that um, most of the maps do not work in new updates. Oh yeah, the all the add-ons broke when they brought out 1.20.70. It's a, it's a bit of a mess, honestly, but you know what, they tried. Also, the explosions don't affect wolves. Interesting knowledge. Can I kill the wolf and then it explodes? I mean, sorry, it's not a wolf. You know, actually, this is my favorite new wolf variant chat. He's called the, uh, he's called the, the, the ginger wolf. And he only spawns in the tiger biome. Uh, and he also steals your stuff. So you got to make sure you kill him while you can. Uh, what a weird wolf that was. But he doesn't explode when you kill him. So keep that in mind. Okay, multi-block pickaxe time. Let's... You know, actually, let, let's actually test something out. I want to mine. And then mine. See, isn't that already so handy? But you could, you could make a giant hole. Trap some enemies in there. Like this, if this existed in Minecraft, it'd be so handy. And you know what? It does exist in Minecraft if you're just willing to pay a fee. Also, this exists in Minecraft. But pro tip, always break the easier block. Like if you want to destroy a tree with this, you just destroy the leaves. Then the tree would get exploded with it. Also, yeah, sadly the fox does not explode. So that is free if the tools tried out now. Let's see what we want to do next after dropping even more stuff. Don't need it at all. It's a, it's a copy of the world and snap. This is all valueless to me. Speaking of valueless to me, let's check out the end frame breaker. Like, who would use this? Who is this for, chat? I do. <laughs> it only has 12 uses. I You could place them wherever you want. So I guess that's the value. But I to me, it's, a, it's still a niche. And then the Omni tool we haven't made yet. And the spawner wrench we haven't made yet either. So I, I, I do think the end frame breaker will be interesting. You get to move one end portal around your world. So let's let's go check it out. Also, uh, good to see you, Jman91. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing just wonderfully. I, um, do you, uh, also, why do you hate the gingers? You know what? It's because deep down, we're all a little ginger. And we have to, if we don't hate ourselves, then who will hate us? I feel like, you know, enough people hate you, they hate you for invalid reasons. The best thing about soap hatred is you're always doing end frame it. frame breaker donation. <laughs> Thank you, David Solomano. You excited to see a broken end portal? I I am excited to see a broken end portal. I I feel like breaking it won't be interesting, but moving it somewhere weird would be. That's that's my that's my current take on it. So by the way, I'm gonna make a pickaxe, and ooh, vein miner. Let's make one of those first. Then we'll make another pickaxe, and then we'll get some eye offenders and some end stone. So eye offender. Easy. I've got ender pearls hanging out somewhere. I think. I don't have eye vendors hanging out somewhere. You know what? Where do I keep them, chat? I know I have it somewhere. Oh, vein miner activated. So I, I've got to try this out as well. So I have over here in my in my world. I've got some coal hanging out in the ceiling. I've been meaning for so long, chat, to finally fix this. Don't worry, it's it's gonna happen at some point. But yeah, the vein miner is a really, really bad tool. Because look at this. They didn't make it mine blocks faster, so you're gonna sit here mining some coal like this. By which time you probably could have mined the whole coal, coal vein, honestly. Wait, what is? How do you? How do you use the vein miner? Um, you interact. Mine any ore, it will automatically break the entire vein for you. So do I put it in my offhand? Maybe. Okay, that's that. I don't think it'll work in the off hand. Yeah, it won't. Okay, so. It's definitely activated now, chat. Okay, use your pickaxe. So you think if I use the the pickaxe, say this one. Oh, okay, so it's act. Oh, so you don't have to use the tool. Once you activate it, you can leave it in your inventory. Oh, like with the tree thing. So you, so that, like the tree thing allows, it works in your in the background. That is actually very fun. I do think that is very in incredibly interesting. So, um, yeah, so the the, the multi-block, lovely. You can do this with it. Love love that. Explosive pickaxe, can do this with it. Like that. A little bit less. But the, the, the vein miner, 
is where things get interesting. So, with that said, let's go back to the endstone place. We definitely keep some endstone in here. So we need three of that, and then we need three eye offenders. Chat, where do I keep my eye offenders? If anyone knows my organization system, I would love it if you could tell me, because I certainly do not. <laughs> you know, spoiler alert, I have no clue what's going on anywhere in this world. Okay, so I'll make some fireworks and get some sleep in and see how it goes in the ender chest. You know, the ender chest is where it would make sense. That's where, that's where I should be keeping my eyes, really. But it's not where I keep my eyes. And it's a, it's a big problem. So, um, just make a huge vein that will be super satisfying, says in Ori. Oh, you know what? You're right. Let's, let's do it. Let's set up a big vein. All right, before we go mine the end portal, as hyped as I also am, uh, as, as with David, let's go ahead and let's get 36 deep slate diamond. 64 red st stone. Yeah, let, let's mine them both. It'll be fun. Okay, this is this is an exciting one. I'm gonna place it in a long straight line, maybe, or like a, you know, a weird alignment. It's gonna be something very odd. Like this, and then over here, and then over here, and then over here, and then up a couple blocks, and then this way, and then we'll go back over the main one. There we go. And then we'll, we'll we'll try some redstone at the end of it. Just for fun here, right? Just in case it works. I don't think it will, though. I would be fairly sure it won't. Because it's a different ore vein, but we'll, we'll see. So, this is turned on. And so now I mine this block, chat. But I'll mine it with fortune. No, I won't. Let's go. Oh. Okay, so yeah, it, it ends after you hit a different one. Wasn't that amazing, though? Diamond ore tape worm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, that's something special. Let me tell you. Okay, so you also you get experience even when you're using Silk Touch. So turning on the ore, the vein miner, is actually kind of bad. But you might want it anyway. Let's get Toy Cat to 2M subs, says Mamuka YT. You know, let's do it, internet. Uh, no, I, uh, so there's this weird thing. Um, there are, like, two goals you can have as a YouTuber. Two, like, focuses. Um, and one is like, call it creative expression, and the other is, uh, success. I think every endeavor in life, uh, basically revolves around those two things. But any, any creative industry is extra so. Like, you are, everything you do at some point revolves around how much do you care about what you're doing, and how much does the world care? And you want to find the spaces where it overlaps. And so when it comes, when it becomes, uh, when it comes to being a big YouTuber... It means that at some point, you found something that the world found really important. Lots of people saw it. Lots of people subscribed. But, um, you, like, with subscriber growth, you gain, say, a thousand subscribers a day for a thousand days. You get a million subscribers, sure. But then, at some point, you either hit everyone who found your stuff, and so you have to find new markets about alienating your existing one. Uh, or you get to a point where, like, yeah, you... You have really, you have stuff that is really interesting to them, but now isn't to new people. And so that's where a lot of channels get to where they like seem like they're stagnating because your existing subscribers slowly die and it's harder to find new ones to replace them. Um, it's a, it's a scary place for a lot of creators, I think. But the way I see it is that, ah, ah, offenders, heck yeah. I knew I kept him somewhere. Yeah, the way I personally see it is, and here is my end frame breaker. Oh yeah, that's special. You're gonna break me an end frame right now. Can I break other things? Oh, I can. It there's no no value in it, but I like that I, I could if I wanted to. Um so yeah, I uh I think that as you get larger you have to work out the things which are still important to you, but are also important to a continually larger group of people. And that's a, that's a challenge I think a lot of YouTubers eventually stumble at. The other alternative is you try to become a YouTuber without any real sense of... Uh, there's nothing that ties the content in together besides being that person. And that is... I know, I feel like it's for a lot of people, it's the dream. It's like a layer of security. But also, there is a, there's a downside to the upside as well. So, I guess, like everything in life... Oh! Whoa, it's instant chat. It's instant. So we'll break it all. So you don't get the eye offender back though, right? 
yeah, you just, when you break the frame, you lose the eye offender. And also, yeah, you, I, lo I literally got 12 end portal frames there. What do I even do with these? I, I actually don't know the answer to that question. What should I do with it, chat? Please, please give me a good idea. I've got some end portal frames and semi-legit survival, but I want to work it out. Toy Cat is important to me. Hope Toy Cat is important to Toy Cat. So I've heard that right now, to make official Minecraft content, I assume that includes add-ons, I haven't asked or checked, but to make official Minecraft content, you can't have tools that mine blocks faster or slower, so you can't make a better pickaxe than diamond, for example, than neverite, for example. And um, so it's really, really hard to actually do the highest end stuff. Okay, by the way, this is something I made a really long time ago. It was my little tribute to Glide. It was back when the height limit was a bit lower. But do you want, do you want to do it right now? Do you want to appreciate the view? Whoa, you can see all of the... Wow, that is incredible. That is a Minecraft Xbox 360 size world over there. Can you believe the size of the worlds we get now? I really cannot. So we'll do a little loop through the these things. Number one. Number two. Number three. Oh, there's a little block in there to watch out for. And number four. And now let's go. So the only eye fences I have are over there. Where should I put my end portal down? There is a real question. There is a real, real question. Build a house out of end portal frames. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you make enough of those end portal... You could go around your whole world and do that. Is there a good reason to? No. Is that going to stop me? Oh, no. This is going to stop me. Chat, I'm not going to be able to make it. I've only got 10... So I've got blaze powder definitely in my world somewhere. Do I have... I hope I have ender pearls too. If I don't have ender pearls, I'm screwed, chat. Oh no. Okay. We're, we're screwed. Put it in the house, under your house, under your house. You know, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea right there. Do I have... Please... Okay, so blaze powder. I'll just grab one of these right now. I just need to find two ender pearls somewhere in my world. Where would I put them, chat? Where would I take all my ender pearls? On top of the statue of yourself, you have an end portal crown. <laughs> you know, what? that's a funny idea. Right up here, we can now place an end portal down. Honestly, yeah, that having more of these isn't actually that useful. It's solely a uh, no chat, chat. I I messed up a little bit. It's fine. You know, no one will notice. This is what end portals look like. If anyone says they don't, then we shoot them away, okay? Um, yeah, this is, this is a common mistake people make. Uh, this this happens to... <laughs> it's a heart. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I, m I might have messed up. I might, I might have made a small mistake. And you know what? If we just hide the evidence, no one will ever know. We'll just put that over there. All gone. No no one has any concerns? Okay, wow. My end portal isn't working. I don't know why, though. <laughs> so, yeah, we've also got uh, an Omni tool, which we haven't made yet, actually, because uh, we need six honey blocks, and the void chest and the spawner wrench. But otherwise, we've gone through everything. That was $3 of content. And I guess it's like, this is, I, I do think, it's, uh, I think this multi-block pickaxe has real value to someone, and it's implemented nicely enough. I feel like you could do this a little bit lazier. They didn't do it lazily. Also, same with the explosive pickaxe, like, you know, it's, <laughs> uh, you, you could do everything a little bit lazier, and they, they, they did the slightly nicer version of these things. And so if you're ever destroying a bunch of stuff, hypothetically, there's a big area in your world that you, you just need to get rid of. Instead of covering it up, this is one of the ways you can do that. You can just be like, it's gone. I don't see anything. <laughs> are they still going to be at the bottom? Yeah, they are. Wow. Um, but yeah, you can. Uh, this is a good solution to that. However, chat, I am going to play another add-on today. Because I honestly, I, I thought that would be... I, I did think that was going to be, you know, like everything. I, I, I thought this would be enough content to like play around for a while. I didn't realize it was literally just eight of these. By the way, do you like this? 
This is my end. Like I made, I made an end portal today, chat. Look, this is definitely what an end portal looks like. Don't question it. This is just what an end portal looks like. And so as a result, we're gonna hop in. Oh, I'm in the end now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've uh, now that I've gone to the end, I've finished with this add-on, and now let's download the next one. Okay, so the fun thing is you can actually do this midway through a game. It's kind of wild, actually. Uh, so we've got Survival Mechs, Crafty Companion, Magic Spells. To me, Magic Spells looks the most interesting. I, I look at it, and I say, ooh, it's level up your Minecraft world of Magic Spells. Fireballs, minions, its it feels like a D&D &D add-on, right? I mean, if you're looking at it, can you see what I'm getting at? And so I'm going to download it right now, inside of Minecraft. You ever get bored of your Minecraft world, so you download, you, you pay for some microtransactions, so you get some magic spells put in there? You know, I do all the time. Okay, so activate add-on, exit world to apply. Ah, uh, you know, what's even the point of downloading inside the game? And then we'll bounce out. And then we'll bounce in. Please, uh, three dollars for almost, uh, creative tools. Yeah, I, I don't see the, the big value in it, personally. I, I hope I'll see the value in the magic spells, though. I hope I will. Uh, hello, says Ash. Hello, or hello, to be more precise. Um, do you want to see my end portal, Ash? I, 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 so I got this tool that allows me to make new ones. And so this is what I made. As you can see... Definitely real. Love the toy cat. Love the haircut, Mr. Toy Cat. Jaylene. Thank you, Jaylene. I I, uh, I went to a new hairdresser. I was a little, little horrified halfway through. Because I, I think I thought she looked at a picture wrong. She looked at it where my hair had like, been blown by the wind. She was like, yep, that is what you want your hair to look like all of the time, right? And I was like, oh, maybe. maybe okay. I guess, I guess this is... I can be like a slick back hair type of person. But the problem is, I feel like it doesn't work like this. Anyway, speaking of not working like how it's working. Um, yes, friends can join without the add-ons. Exact. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can host a world for friends of add-ons. So now that I've got a new world, let's read the Tome of Magic, shall we? So this is going to be a lot more content. It seems like, like, look at the list of spells. Okay, it's not actually too much more. Although it's polymorph in there, it is. So the mana cost... Okay, so we, I, I have no idea what mana cost is. Let's go back to how it works. So you need a mana moat. Hostile mobs have a small chance of dropping one. Oh, so this is actually a better add-on to play on a new world. List of spells. Nice. And uh, Yeah, let's, let's go ahead, chat. You know that previous world we made? Um, yeah, so we have to kill enemies, and the enemies will give me... Mana motes, which allow me to get mana. Um, drinking a mana potion gives you 75 back instantly. Okay, add on settings. Wow, that's exciting. Okay, you know what, chat? New world. See, in my opinion, this, this second type of add-on is better because you can make an adventure around it or add it to your existing world. But in either case, it works the same. So, my packs. Magic spells. I'll leave the previous one on. World utilities can stay on there, why not? I don't think I'll be using any, to be totally honest, but we'll see. And uh, we'll throw on the naturalist as well. Uh, I, I feel like it's a lot of fun. Uh, you, just a few extra enemies, uh, why not? So let's let's combine them all together to check out magic spells. Seems more promising. Yeah, I totally agree. There is... The previous one made me go, yeah, there must be something I'm missing to this. And then I realized, nope, nothing I'm missing to it. It's, it's just that shallow. So whereas this is, is, is a little bit a little bit more promising feeling. So we have to kill hostile mobs, which is why I think an existing world would be good. Also, naturalist info book appeared in front of me. I don't need that book. I, I just want to have the extra uh, mobs there for a little bit of flavor for the world. So let's now grab some hay bales. Isn't this fun, by the way? Some of the hay is right here in the snowy biome. Beautiful. But yeah, let's uh, let's let's become a witch today. No. I'm going to definitely read more in the book because we've got some time until nighttime comes. How long do we have actually? We've got yeah, we got like six minutes till we have to worry about it. So I could go in a cave right now though. So we can we can keep that in mind. Throw that there. Throw that there. Throw that there. Throw that there. And that. Just just clear up the inventory. 
And now let's read the Tome of Magic and confirm how it works. So, how do I cast spell? What is mana? Mana, you have 100 mana by default at your disposal. After you use some, your mana will regenerate at 2 points per second. So in 50 seconds, you get a full bar. It restores faster than restores faster than your, your health bar, chat. Bedrock, am I right? Uh, magic potions. You can make magic cookies and magic whatever else. Okay, magic attire. So if you have a magic hat, you've got to... Okay, combine it with cloth and you get a hat or mana. Basically, you want the hat. Everything else it doesn't matter about. And you can repair magic and armor using mana mode. So everything in this add-on is mana mode based. But how do you cast the spells? Oh, so I think you must have like all of these spells at the same time. I don't see how you would unlock them. This spell will be cast repeatedly while holding interact. Okay, this sounds really fun, chat. I am legitimately excited for this one. I wanna, I wanna get some spells going. Do you wanna get some spells going, chat? Because you'd better believe I want to. Uh, so kill a bunch of these because I, I need to get the lever. Then we'll take a bed and then we'll try and find a cave that's open right now. So, um, the why do Adams put such a strain on the performance of the game, says the Secret Service? Uh, I don't think they all do. I think some of them definitely more than others. Grab a couple of furnaces in case we need them. Grab a bed, even though we probably won't. And then a few pieces of bread. Yeah, but now, now let's go find a cave. So this is the way I want to be heading for where I know an end portal is. For what value that has to me. Also, white bed, absolutely terrible. Can't be living with this one. So I'll be turning it into red. Red bed, nice. And yeah, I think uh, also Jaylene says, thank you, forgot to say thank you if you pronounced my name correctly. You're welcome. I, I obviously, people can only guess at names. If your name is pronounced phonetically, I will get your name. If your name isn't pronounced phonetically, then you can never be offended that someone doesn't pronounce it correctly. Unless... You like unless you say right like um if you are I I know there's there's so many silly places uh in the in in the world but especially in the UK stuff like I don't know if you look at the word um where you know there's Oxford in the UK and there's that other university town and if you look at that and say it's pronounced Cambridge that is the reasonable thing it is unreasonable to expect people to not to know that it is not by default. Also, I can't believe I got just the right amount of uh, iron to make a um, to make a sword, so I can get these mana motes a bit easier. Also, you say my name a bit funny. I find it charming. Dasha, I guess yeah, Dasha, really. Um, same with Sasha. You would say Sasha, not Sasha. Um, unless I'm saying, unless even that is funny. Also, here was a cave the whole time. Let's go into it. Let's let's hop in the cave. Uh, what's the worst that's gonna happen? I don't have any wood. So maybe that's the worst that's gonna happen. But I just want to find a bit of coal, chat. Do you see any coal? If I had a torch, I could find some coal. But, you know, I, I hate to talk about recursive cycles. Um, there are no mobs in here whatsoever, actually. Are we playing on peaceful without realizing it, maybe? I don't think that's true. Where are all the mobs at? Okay, here's the coal. I did walk just past some. But I didn't get any sticks, so you know, I there were two things that I needed for uh, light, and I was missing one of them. It's an easy me easy mistake to make. We all make it, chat. Fun fact, I made friends with a Belarusian girl in high school because I pronounced her name right. We are still friends, says David Stiolimanio. Um, you know, that's cool. I, I think everyone appreciates... Like, the, the rude thing, right, is someone telling you something and then not remembering it. Or maybe rude isn't the right word, but the less, the non-socially gracious thing. Um, people appreciate when you remember things uh, more than they appreciate when you don't, I, I can imagine. Okay, so crafty table. Make it happen. Break another one of these. I'm so excited to get my first sword chat. Are you excited? You better be excited, internet. Okay, sword type. No, it's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to craft. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get my first mana moat right now. Oh, okay. So what do I do with this? Oh, I craft this into spells? Yeah, I guess so. In tree? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it's fine. So, um, yeah, we're going to make some sticks and a sword first. 
And then we're going to look up the recipes for this. So, Blaze, Blaze, Flint and Steel makes Spell Fireball. Uh, Endrod, Endrod, Iathender. Oh, so we, we have to beat Minecraft, basically. Cookies and a Mana Moat makes the Mana Cookie. Illuminate is just two gold bars. Summon Minion is a lot of tricky things. Return is probably doable. Okay, this, this is an easy one. Spell, Push. And so is Polymorph, I would say, on the easier side of things. This we're very close to as well. We just have to kill up enough Creepers. But the very first one I'm going to make is probably going to be... Oh, I, I don't even know, actually. This this maybe... Yeah. Oh, well, that's, this is something else. Okay. So let's let's go kill some hell at fellas. I need to get my hands on some gold and some copper. And I need to do so fairly quickly, I imagine. Okay, make some of these. I don't know why why I can't make torches, chat. Why? Okay, there we go. Made some torches. Now let's go kill some people. Get some mana moats. Do you think we, we get them every time we kill? Or was that a very lucky coincidence? It was a very lucky coincidence. Nice. But yeah, we need TNT, which means we need to kill creepers. No, but not that way. That's that's the wrong way to kill a creeper if we need their drop. But yeah, so this mana moat does nothing by itself. I can only use the mana moat once I get a spell. And every spell is kind of tricky to craft. So you don't just immediately get the right to do stuff. This this is the easiest, right? Chat, is there any that's easier? Like maybe this one? Maybe this one even. Illuminate is probably the easiest spell. Ice Blast, we could get if we had Silk Touch. Gravity Vortex is... <laughs> there's a lot going on there. Let me tell you. Okay, let's... I do think, though, this will add to a playthrough in a fun way. I, um... I don't pronounce the T's in my name yet, so... I pronounce the T's in my name yet, so many people don't, says James Perrot. I... See, that that is an interesting example where, like, um, lots of different cultures have different rules and pronunciation. It's, uh... And it's... So when you're in a certain culture, it can be easy, and when people are used to a different one, it can't be. You know, honestly, the thing about names is, unlike every other word, it's not obvious where they come from. And so you gotta... You gotta make the obvious for the world. Um... Okay, so I don't like- No! I, when are you gonna get three creepers in a row? Why did he even explode? Um, okay, so I just want another mana moat as soon as I can. And I need a lot more creepers. That was a big mess up. Honestly, that was all on me. Uh, but we can also just make a hat, I guess. Make one of these magical hats. So, it said we need- Oh, it's purple wool. Oh, this isn't what I was expecting at all. Okay, let's let's go find it. Let's let's go make some TNT. I'm gonna be very careful about this one. Okay, run away. No, stop. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Uh, we got a second mana boat, so that is proof that we can. We can't. It's not just one at a time. And I've got myself two gunpowder. So you need five gunpowder and four sand to make an explosive. I can do five gunpowder by the end of the day. And then I can make a cool spell from it. I assume. So just to make sure we get the sand, I'll go looking right now. There's some over here. Nice and easy. And then we'll use that sand very wisely. And then we'll go looking for gold. Because that's the next easiest spell we can make. Okay, four sand. We are sorted. Murder time. Love to see it. And creeper time. There you are. Honestly, chat, you know what? I'm missing the speedrunning of a uh, of a trial chamber. I'm looking forward to whenever they add the official way that you get the mace. Again, I imagine it's a boss. Maybe not. I would love to speedrun whatever it is that comes out of that. I don't know. But I've, uh, I've got myself into, like, trial chamber speedrunning mode. So I'm always, like, I'm impressed that we have all this space to fight mobs in. It just feels, feels wrong, you know. Okay, so TNT has been gathered. Let's see what we can do with it. No, it's not being gathered. What are we missing? Oh, we are missing a whole gunpowder. I can go back for that. I'll find one. I felt like I already had five gunpowder, but I did the maths incorrectly. Uh, Took out, I'm in love with you, says Caden. Love, you know what? With a name like, with, a, with the last name Love, if you weren't falling in love with someone, it would be a waste. So I'm glad you are at least, you know, you're getting value out of that name. Uh, you're getting... Okay. You're getting mileage out of it, at least, I should say. 
Okay, so the official way is a trial chamber. Yeah, but the official way will be... They, they've got a way planned for later. They're just kind of giving us a lazy way right now. So I've got a furnace. Going to place it down with my beef in. Shouldn't have placed down two, but that's fine, I guess. Place one over here. All the beef goes in. And now we make it TNT. Okay, so I'm closer to... I can make mine burst the spell. What do you think this is going to do? Chat, I'm excited. Tell me tell me your guesses for what mine burst does. We have not looked up this one yet. And so I have no clue. Oh, it's a... Oh, wow. See, this is so much higher quality. They've got like a 3D animation. They've got a model. They have a mana bar. I wish it had a, like a unique bar for your HUD, but I see why they can't all be adding bars. Uh, eat some rotten flesh. Kill you very easily. I'm guessing it's going to be the 3 by 3 mining thing, chat. That's my guess. Let's do it. Oh, that was cool. Oh, yeah, this is real cool. So the spell does have a cooldown. Oh, that's okay. You know, the first add-on, why would they release them in the same week? It looks so bad by comparison. Th this one spell, that's a better animation than the mace. I agree. Can I use it at this distance? Whoa! This is so cool. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. I am, in, I am amazed in the best possible way. Um, okay, so we're going to grab the cooked beef, put in the bow or something just to cook up the rest of that. And now let's finish that. Let's see if we can't get a few more creepers before daylight. So this isn't a good combat spell, chat. It's only for mining. But still, isn't that isn't that amazing? Look at this. You want to mine your way in? Just just just, just tear in. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So I'm excited now. I've I found my first spell that makes me realize this is a special add-on. Let's see how far away we can mine blocks. Because there is a simulation distance of 64 blocks, four chunks. Let's see if I can't mine something further away than that. So I'm going to mine the top of that tower, chat. Ooh, did we do it? No, it, it's hitting a wall, you can see. So you can only go a certain distance. But that distance is pretty good, I think. No, no, it's not. It's it's fine. But let's just destroy this guy's house. Um, let's, let's, let's test our range with this house. Yeah, we can get all the way to the other side of his door. We can destroy underneath his bed. You know, this is great. This is the best thing I've ever found, chat. Um, yeah, this is handy as, as heck. So now I, I need to work out what spells I should craft next. So obviously, I think Illuminate is going to be important. It's two golds and a, and a torch. But I need a pickaxe, and I don't have one anymore because I did just spend all my resources. I spent my resources making something I probably shouldn't have. So let's quickly pick up some of these resources. Oh, the, the destruction rod has actually helped me on this one. So we'll destroy some more wood over here. And just pick it all up. Yeah, this is actually handy. It's an easy way to get lots and lots of wood very, very quickly. Um, and so, yeah, this is, this is one of the weakest spells. It's one of the easiest ones you can get. Already, it is actually pretty amazing, I would say. So we'll make two stone pickaxes, throw it here, and throw it over here. Okay, and now we are going to hop down in the cave and see what's 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 up with that. So I definitely want copper uh, because we need two copper rods for one of the spells. So free copper plus... We might even be able to get one right now, but let's just light the place up. I really want to use my destruction spell on mobs, but it literally doesn't work, sadly. Oh, no, I don't want to do this. No, 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 no. Disagree, disagree. Okay, he's gone. Not my problem anymore. Uh, there he is. Perfect. Okay, come back here, friend. Okay, where are you? I don't know where you are. I'm going to eat a cooked beef anyway. It's not going to do much for me, but that's fine. Yeah, he's gone. He's, he's not a problem. There he is. He's a problem. Ooh, perfect. So I was hoping for an ender pearl. I think one of the recipes requires it, but that's good. That's okay. We'll get an eye bender later. Um, I guess, yeah, we can't get the, the blaze rod part of it, so... Maybe we shouldn't be minding. Let's instead just tear apart this cave. Oh yeah, just it's it's actually honestly it's not that good for diagonal caves like this. You can see that it's just not doing much tearing. 
which is a shame. Um, so, Cat, can you charge the spell? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, you can. Oh, what did I just do? Whoa! Okay, look at that hole I've just made. Chat, so when you charge the spell, it gets a lot more useful. Oh, I've been missing out on one of the key features of this add-on as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so let's go destroy a villager house like this. Okay, so I'm going to hop out. I'm going to look at this house right here, and I'm going to charge attack it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that villager tried to go home to realize that his house has been vanished. Oh, yeah. Okay. Again, this, this one weapon, this one spell already is making me quite partial to the add-on. I've got strong feelings in a good way for this add-on right here. So now let's go get some, uh, let's get some more copper and try and make the second uh, spell. Again, I feel like the more spells we get, the more powerful it will be. But the more we have to worry about total mana and stuff. So there, there is trade-off. Hey, speaking of trade-offs, thank you, Crypts. You should try playing a job mod pack or make your own vanilla plus pack. I used to hate mods, then I tried them. Way better quality than any add-on. Oh, yeah, you're totally right. The Java has better quality mods than add-ons. My biggest problem is just that it doesn't work that well. There's a, there's a there's a Java mod I really like. But, like, having it... It was a whole nightmare to deal with the downloading everything off it. And so I, uh... I like it, but sadly, not, not, not for me. Okay. So we're going to make that second copper rod as we finally go down here. Is there even anything at the bottom of this cave? I'm hoping there is. It feels like there must be. It, in fact, if there's if there's some gold down there, that'd be nice. We should we should know now because otherwise we'll need to find another cave. It looks like there's not. It looks like this is a dead end. And oh yeah, it's such it's such a weirdly shaped cave. But there's nothing for me here. So let's head out for it. Let's grab some iron because I need to make... I think I need to mine some gold later. So getting iron now seems smart. And yeah, we'll get we'll get a pickaxe. We'll get a shield. We'll get like our basics covered. And we'll be wonderful. Um, what was in the bedrock update today? It's all stability fixes. Uh, hot fixes you can basically assume have no features. Minor monthly updates have some features, some fixes. And major feature updates are all about the features, with some bug fixes just in there. So let's destroy over there. Honestly, it's not that it's not that useful for caves, but it is very fun regardless. Go. <laughs> okay, so this is this is nuts though. The the mining potential that you can have with mine burst is pretty high. But you can see it's using up my mana. So now with one spell, this is wild. But as I get more and more spells, it's going to become less and less worthwhile. And so it's something I've got to keep in mind. Uh, there is a limit to its potential. When do you think the RuneScape Restring will be, says a Rodip? That's a fun question. Also, let's let's test the Mind Burst on this. Oh, yeah, that was a, that was a good good call right there. Throw this away. I, um... I've been playing some uh, some of the newer RuneScape. I think I might get back into old school. Stream that maybe for the first time. I feel like it's the more popular game. Uh, for sure. Why in the world did you get the Marketplace Pass? It gives you the same stuff as Realms Plus, but no Realm. Um, a lot of people don't care about a Realm to play on with friends. They might just want the Marketplace content. Uh, I think that they should put the subscriptions all in the same place. I think it's very confusing the way they do it right now. RuneScape, heck yes. Toycat, you released a new video. I thought it was released before this stream came out. I uh, I didn't realize we didn't have a thumbnail for it, so we had to kind of like do some last minute, uh, like switcherooing. But I'm glad it all worked. Okay, so copper goes in here. Lightning Rod makes here. And then we'll see what spell that one's for. It is for the... Okay, so we definitely can't do that one. Two Lapis, that feels quite reasonable for Whirlwind. Time Warp. Oh, that's also very doable. Summon minion, doable, return. Okay, so we definitely want a lot of ender pearls. We just want a single emerald for this one. So that's very nice, easy. Uh, we want a single gold for this. And a lot... Of, we want gold for a lot of these, basically. Yeah, let's let's hope we can find some gold. Meanwhile... Ooh, gravity vortex, by the way. Just sounds cool. 
so that's that's what we're kind of hoping for. Then we'll cook up half the iron in this furnace and the other half in this furnace. Just go here, go here, go there, and I'll, I'll switch these out for this on the ground. Sort it. Now we wait for that to smelt up, and then we go off into the world. I think in the meantime I should... I want to tech because I need some packed ice right, chat. Let's see if when we destroy it with this spell, we'll get packed ice. I think not, because so far it's been giving me ores and not, like, ore blocks. But just in case it does something, I want to find out. Damn, you get nothing. It's still very cool. Like, destroying an entire one of these in one hit. Very, very nice feeling. But that's, that's all it is. It's just a feeling. Also, yeah, this rod has no expiry. Once you craft it, you have it forever, as best I can tell. Which is an interesting little uh, niche for it to fall into. So I'm going to start making a underground cave from this point here. I'm gonna just, just make a big hole down there. And then make a big hole after this. And if I make, if I take advantage of these charges enough, I'll eventually find some gold, right? Just logically, eventually that will happen. And then if we get the illuminate spell, then I can make big holes and not have to worry about them. So we're going through something I've already gone through, but it's fine. I'm just making a hole down to bedrock as fast as I can. Okay, you can hurt yourself if you hit yourself in one of these. Charge free. Oh, we have to wait for it to... Okay, okay, wait for it, wait for it. Nice, there we go. So yeah, this is a very efficient... Oh, lapis, we need that. Lap this is a very efficient way to mine. Um, has to be said. You wanna you wanna go places, and you wanna do it quickly. This this does seem like it's the way. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Then I don't know. Place a block here, there, everywhere. Here, there, everywhere. <laughs> it's a fun game. Okay, so jumpity, jumpity. Okay, look, we we are good, chat. So honestly, kind of cool. I I like again doing doing things that Minecraft literally have said they won't do. It's kind of fun in some cases for me, especially when it's things that the individual players feel like make sense. And this is one such example of that. So I think I have to put some wood in here. Just three pieces. Now we are going to... Hmm. Also, uh, could combine that with the explosion mining thing to be fast. I don't know that it, they would stack well. That is my, my fear. But maybe they would. Maybe I'm wrong about that. So I'm going to destroy it down there real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go down to gold. That's the goal. That's the goal. Even, you could say. And as long as we place a torch over here now and then, we'll be fine. Honestly, yeah, this is... If, if we had this in Minecraft, there would be a lot less mining happening. You go, you'd make one of these tunnels down once, and then you'd call it quits. Because it's cool, because you can find regular caves like this. Okay, so we're in a new cave. Just here to destroy it, though. Nice. So is there going to be gold around here? I certainly hope so. Yeah, we can go looking. I'm surprised we haven't found any yet, honestly. Like, I know gold is not as... Like, I guess I picture gold being really common because I'm usually mining in a mesa. But here we are. We're somewhere. Do you see any sign of the things that I want? Internet? I certainly do not. Okay, so put these there, make some torches, put these there, make some torches, then I can take back the iron. So that's a handy pro tip. If you want to craft something, just put something else in your crafting grid to use it as extra inventory spaces. That feels like an illegal tip. Like, you, you shouldn't be able to use those as inventory spaces, but you can temporarily. Here we go. Okay, so I don't have a, a strong enough pickaxe. What I can just do, chat, blast it away. <laughs> So effective. So OP. Okay, five raw raw coal or raw. You know, raw coal should be a thing. But we got it. Inventory management issues. Am I right, says Elizabeth N. Exactly. I you are you am right. It's uh managing an inventory is harder than people give it credit for. Um that's that's a big thing. Also, hello Toy Cat, your channel's a big part of my life growing up. Just wanted to see how you're doing. You seem well. Yeah, I I am. Thank you for for checking up on me. It's been a um, I I don't know. I, I I'm I'm glad 
that so many people have got to see my uh, my rise. Because uh, it every now and then you have real moments where you're like, ooh, well, man, there was there was there was gold here the entire time. Just well, what am I even doing? Um, every now and then you doubt yourself, and you know, like I know the, there's a lot of versions of imposter syndrome out there, but the. It's nice to have people who are like, oh yeah, wow, look how far you've come. You've become so much better at this and that. One of the things I do want to do, that maybe you'll be pleased to hear this, Doozy, is um, I, I want to do like, I, I, I want to try it again anyway. It's one of those like ideas that I try every now and then I fail. But I'm going to do an old style Let's Play again. Just, you know, just like, let's let's talk about some real stuff in a, in, in a quick time frame over some Minecraft. I... I think there's a real space for it. I'm gonna give it a try. Um, I, you know, it's been a while since we've done a let's play because there's there's such high expectations on a Minecraft let's play if you do it the the normal way. But to me, it was never about the builds. The builds were just what I was up to. And so I want to kind of like bring that back a little bit. Sometimes I forget to look at such an old channel. Yeah, I'm a Minecraft boomer, uh, Dasher. Can't believe you forget. So I'm gonna sleep in this man's bed. <laughs> Hope that no one notices what's going on. Could you build an Aztec temple in the Let's Play? I could. Factually speaking, it's not impossible for me to do so. Let's try and get some more mana motes, if we can. Because I'm about to craft some spells right now. So, put some gold in here, along with some coal. And let's see what we can't make. So, I'm about to get two gold, so I could make Illuminate. Then I'm about to get... A gold, so I'm just missing a feather and a book to make levitation. Oh, that's that's powerful. I also have enough copper to make this one, so let's do that first. So throw that one away, and now we are spoiled for choice. Chat, lightning strike or illuminate? Which one do you think is more valuable? Also, oh, you're a boomer. No wonder you explode everything. <laughs> Okay, you, you, everyone officially has permission to say okay, Boomer, to me. Um, so I'm going to... I'm going to make both. I'm just going to do them at the same time. We're, we're not going to get to discover one before the other, because I'm going to have both. Lightning Strike feels like a lot of fun. There's a chicken over there, I think, right? No, that's a sheep. So let's try a Lightning Strike. Oh, wow. That's a cool noise. And illuminate looks something like this. So does the light last forever? Oh, it can't last forever. Okay, and it has no levels. This is the only one with levels so far. Yeah, it can't. It's it's got to have like an eventual timer, but that that it might be long enough that it's not a big problem. Um, hello. Did I miss anything exciting? I've I got a I got a big explosion. Um, also, uh, have you looked at Prison Launcher for Java mods? I've tried so many launchers. I, again, I... This is the problem is, like, one gets really popular, and then people realize it sucks, and they get another one, and that gets really popular. But every time, I'm like, but this isn't... We haven't solved the problem. It's... Every Minecraft update that comes out breaks it, and I fundamentally care more about Minecraft updates than I do about this one add-on that uses this pack, but then this other add-on uses a different one anyway. It's a, it's a cool problem to, if they can solve it. But I haven't seen anyone who can. So I'm going to quickly get myself an emerald because I need one. And the easiest way is to find what you're buying and to sell it to you. 22 carrots. I can do that. Uh, quite easily, actually. One emerald. Nice. So, yeah, I'm... I'm I, you know, actually... <laughs> it auto-targets that. Wow. Um... Yeah, yeah, I feel a little bad about that, to be honest with you. But at the same time, objectively pretty funny. So, <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about Java mods, says Lazy Loons? Yeah, I, I understand why, why people do care about Java mods, though. I understand why there are people who it's their favorite thing. And they're seeing add-ons, and it's like, but isn't this just a worse version of what we already have? But also, it's like, yeah, it's a whole different market. And that's why it's interesting to people. So now I can craft... Oh, I don't have the... I don't have the mana motes anymore, but I could craft this, which would be push, which seems pretty fun. But I need to wait until stuff comes out and I can attack it. In the meantime, let's welcome going to the nether, which means I need diamonds. And you know, chat, 
I have a way of finding diamonds quite easily. Do you want to see what it is? Actually, let's get some coal. So this is my favorite way of getting coal. Yeah, lots of coal for me. <laughs> Making a little pile of it right now. So yeah, inventory management's very hard when the game gives you 64 blocks at a time. But uh, yeah, let's just keep on going down. Let's just keep on doing it. You find a hole, and then you make a hole in that hole. Oh yeah. And then we find another hole in that hole. And I think I think gravel is resisting my charm here, chat. I think the gravel is getting in my way. Okay, let's go again. Let's try it. Right here should destroy the whole gravel pile. It's not. Gravel is immune. So I'll illuminate over here. Oh. Yeah, that can't stay around forever. There'd be like rendering issues if it did. So I'll instead assume it has a limited time. Hey, Ryan, wait. Thank you for becoming a channel member. Remembering you. Green member. Awesome. I didn't realize my membership ended. Real happy for you, man. I, uh, oh, wait, not happy that you didn't realize it ended. Real happy that you have a new membership. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, I'm a, I, uh, one of the things I want to do is I, I realized recently there's a video I, I was going to make, and then I couldn't make it because I, I realized it'd get me in some, like, YouTube advertising, something trouble. And I realized that would be a, like, I, I realized, like, membered videos are a great way for me to escape stuff like that, like, Rather than having to worry like, oh, yeah, is this, is this, you know, algorithm safe? I think that might be a good, I, I know there's, there's certain terms, you know, on the internet, you can't say the word suicide anymore. It has to be unalive, like as, for an example. Um, there's dumb stuff like that where like, that like people don't actually say unalive in real life, right? I mean, I, I don't say unalive in real life. Maybe I'm the weird one. But um, there's a lot of examples of dumb stuff like that where it's like, you have to, you have to find a balance, and also it's very hard to. Okay, so let's make a big hole in there. Light it up. Double plus ungood. <laughs> yeah, right? There's, there's, so many, there's so many euphemisms you have to use to avoid being negative that it defeats the point at some point. I, I, I think this is the crazy thing about language. You can never ban people from expressing their thoughts. And so people just get better at expressing their thoughts in ways that you don't notice. Um, I don't know, but may may maybe, ultimately. Uh, no, actually, no, I, that, that's my opinion. That's, that's the correct opinion on this. But speaking of correct opinions, let's do a big mining trip at this lair. I reckon for every one of these big chunks we destroy, we've got a, like, one in, like, ten chance of mining diamonds. And that's those aren't bad odds to me, so I'm just going to do it for as long as I have the ability. And then when I run out, I'll mine a little more maybe. Maybe get a better pickaxe. <laughs> but yeah, we'll just set up some lights, go through a tunnel, maybe go down a few blocks too, and then wait for the mana to regenerate. So you can see that the value in having more mana is actually quite high here. Um, now that I have so many spells, being able to mine a lot more would sure be handy. Actually, do you think I can destroy chat? So, do you think if I destroy obsidian with this, I would get the obsidian back? Like you would if you were to use a diamond pickaxe? I think you would. I don't have any proof of that yet, but I think that's my plan. If I want obsidian, rather than finding diamonds and making a pickaxe, let's go find obsidian and just mine burst it. I think that's a good idea. Um, so, yeah, with that said, uh, TikTok guidelines are the worst. It's, uh... You know what? You could have skipped the word guidelines in there, am I right? Yeah, I am right. So I'm gonna cool... What do you mean spell on cooldown? It didn't do anything. Yeah, so spells will activate even if they're outside your simulation distance. You just don't see anything. Which feels like a worst of both worlds situation. But yeah, lighting a cave like this is fun. It's not very permanent. There are diamonds! Wow! So look at this. I've got a way to mine those diamonds. Uh, it's the way I mine everything, chat. Yeah, one diamond. Oh, no, 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 I need that diamond. I need it. Go. There we go. Perfect. And then we'll re-illuminate the cave, because it's getting pretty dark in here. Oh, wow, it's a big cave, chat. Wow. Look at this. This is the sort of cave that needs an illuminate spell. You need something to help you see what's going on. And a bunch of illuminations that you can shoot at a distance. A real big distance, too. Look at that. That's incredible. Honestly, 
these are the features that we all wish we had in Minecraft. Someone just made them, you know? Do love to see it. Gotta love to see it. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything of value in here, though. There's probably diamonds somewhere around, but there's no easy way to look for them. So I'll keep my one diamond that I have. I'll call it a good day, and then I'll go lightning zap some enemies outside. Or inside, actually. Oh, no, 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 wrong wrong enemy. Oh, no. Okay, gotta be, gotta be very careful about lightning zapping creepers. <laughs> that can go poorly, apparently. Oh, no. Okay, so you do have to aim. Maybe, there we go. So you also don't get light from just this. Not enough mana. Come on, I need to shock you. There we go. We got it. <laughs> so lightning strike is expensive, but honestly, not insanely OP, I wouldn't say. The, li the light rod should be in the base game, I think. Yeah, I, I think there should be an item that can shoot light at a distance, like temporarily or permanently. Oh, yeah, okay. If you A, a, a crossbow attachment that could shoot torches, that would solve a lot of problems. That's that's what I'm saying. You could solve a lot of the world's problems, maybe even. Also, uh, nice easy charge creepers is handy. Yeah, I bet you could do some insane stuff with that. I don't know what those insane things would be, but I bet you could do them. <laughs> Let me tell you. Ins insane things would be done if I were in charge of that. So now it's probably nighttime again. If it's not, we're, we're closing in on it. And we're gonna... We're gonna go on a bit of a rampage, I think. Just a bit of one. Just a small bit of a, a rampage. How is lightning underground? Uh, it's a lightning strike. When In magic, you don't question how lightning works. Did you know, I? so one of the things that I remember being told about a lot in school was lightning strikes. But it never happens as an adult. And I looked into it, and lightning strike deaths have been going down year on year. And so fun fact, do you know you don't have to worry about lightning for some reason? I don't know what that reason is. But there is a reason you don't have to worry about lightning anymore. And that's nice. So we'll throw away this and that and this and a whole stack of granite. That's too many granite blocks. And then we're going to work out what we need to get this hat. This is important for purple wool. Purple dye is just blue and red dye. And wool. Is wool hanging around this village? If it is, that's nice. If it's not, that's fine. So I need to kill things to get mana motes, really, more than anything else. Um... Yeah, mana motes are a priority because I can't craft one of my spells without it. So give me the blue stuff, please. And we need some wool if it exists in this village, which I hope it, it I hope it exists. It would be easier if it did. Oh, although, where can you even find wool in villages? I think it's really just that one central piece, which we happen not to have. Let's see how much damage the lightning does against this guy. Does he even know that it's me doing it? Oh, yeah, he doesn't. Okay, that's powerful, chat. Yeah, look at this. You can just lightning shock him over and over again. He has no clue where it's coming from. Uh, this guy does, though. Oh, no. Okay, okay. This is going to murder me. I'm going to die because I was so busy working out if I could lightning strike the golem. But, yeah, we, we don't need any drops from any mobs besides Enderman, but we won't find those. So we're solely here to kill as many enemies as possible. Which is easy to do if you just find enemies and lightning strike them while you can. So, oh yeah, I don't want strays actually. Let's let's specifically fight in the plains where none of this happens. Because the snow's a bit thicker to look at anyway. There's something so funny about this lightning stuff. Honestly, yeah, it's perfectly... Okay, so we're gonna... There's something about the, light, the sound effect which is just so perfect to me. Yeah. Yeah, nice. So, there is something about it that is just so nice. So we'll try it. You have to shoot with his feet, but then look at that. That's good. That's really good, that is. Okay, lightning strike. Lightning strike. It is a very, very powerful weapon. Uh, now we're going to get the push spell, and we're going to use that to get more mana motes. I don't know why they're called mana motes, honestly. But we're, we're going to get some more anyway. So that's illuminate. That's not push. I don't think I have the torches that I need to push. Yo, please. Okay, so, I mean, we don't have any sticks. Two sticks, and now we can make push. So I'm slowly replacing my hot bar with spells. What do you think push is like? Oh. 
Oh, okay. So it's really expensive, but it's like a get out of jail free card. And you can also damage enemies with it. And also it works in all directions, so if they even if they're behind me. Hypothetically, right? Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Okay. I I, I think this is more useful though. <laughs> it's a little sillier, but it is much better. And silly is always good, remember to that chat. Oh, we got one, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna go look for obsidian that we can turn into more spells. And also look for some purple wool. See, this is a really well-balanced add-on, chat. It actually is making me need to get the stuff in the right order. Looks like a bit like a wind charge on a stick. Yeah, you're totally right. I see. I see how it's a wind charge on a stick. But yeah, let's uh, let's see our most realistic next spell. Levitation. Yeah, levitation seems easy. Summon minion. Just requires obsidian and some nevrak, admittedly. Uh, whirlwind just requires a feather, so that whirlwind is the one. And Polymorph seems very funny. Mind Burst is really good. Wither Skulls, definitely not making that one. Gravity Vortex, no. Fireball, probably no. End of Light, also probably no. So, Levitation and the Summon Minion, maybe a little bit of Return or a little bit of Whirlwind. But we're going to need some chickens for that. And we're going to need to go find some wool, which I'll do today. Because you know what? This day is over. What about time warp? Let's do the time warp again. I like that song. Also, look, there's eagles. See, it's, 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 this is why you download the... Uh, I think there are different add-ons that work well together. It does have to be said. Uh, this is a combination, which uh, might even fit that bill. So, do you want to see a house be obliterated, chat? Ah, of course you do. <laughs> yeah, this is joy. This pack is actually a joy to use. Um, that is a hard thing to manage. But like, how often do you get to lightning strike a penguin to death? Uh, the answer is not very often. You know, in, in today's world, you get, you know, you get sent to prison just for lightning striking a single penguin. Can't do anything because of the, you know, I don't know. There's, there's, a, there's a funny set of jokes I want to make here, but I'm going to avoid it. And instead, we're good. Also, I unalived that house. I did, in fact, unalive the house. That house is definitely zero alive left. So, yeah, we need to go find a chicken now. And I think planes is the best place to do it. So we'll just peek around for any sign of a chicken. I just want a single feather. You can also find feathers by... I don't think there are other ways, honestly. So two sheep. Oh, but we need purple wool, so... Bad news sheep. Oh, wow. Oh, that, that is nice. So purple is just blue and red. So blue is easy. We've got lapis. Tons of it. Red is easy. You just need a... Oh, we've also got blue dye there. But red is easy. You just need a red flower, which is common. Perfect. Let's let's go make a mana hat. I'm excited for one of those. Um, Cobblestone on the ground. Sure. We need at least four purple dye. So two red. And then... Make that into purple. Then make that into four purple wool. Three purple wool and whatever. It's fine. And then spider eye. This. Cook mutton. Yeah. We'll just eat one of those. I just need a single chicken or a single... Uh, a single sheep and I'm going some good places then, chat. And now we're going to look for obsidian too. Obsidian is a, a thing I'm specifically here for because I want to see if we can mine it with my mine burst spell. Uh, so yeah, we're we're this this is really well structured. You're going through Minecraft in a slightly OP way, but not so OP that you feel like you're just defeating the point of the game, and also a way that brings you in a very different path than you would normally do, which is good in my opinion. <laughs> Speaking of good. How can you not love that? So, um, yeah, I guess I should throw these on the... Actually, you know, I should cook these into a furnace. So I'll make that now. Um, just, just, just cook them a little bit. And then let's make a hat. So the hat looks like this. And it gives me 10 extra mana if I hold it. Which is a good deal in my mind. But look at this, chat. Oh, it said I'd get extra, but I don't. Is it faster regen, maybe? Yeah, I guess it must be. Let's let's try some more things. Let's 
lightning strike that polar bear. I hate polar bears so much. They deserve all the pain in the world. Look. Oh, it's very hard. Honestly, this is a hard thing to do if you can't look down onto something. Looking up from something is a real pain. Use, useful pro- You don't know these magic tips until you use them. Um, beating Minecraft, but I'm a wizard, says Dasher. Genuinely, I would love to do that playthrough. I think I would enjoy it a lot. I think I would enjoy beating Minecraft as a wizard. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's work our way over to that ruined portal. We're not going to find any chickens on the way there, so... It's my, uh, my one missed opportunity. There's lava here. I'll... I can use that, I think. But first, let's see if we can't get some obsidian. Because we need to go both to the nether and also we just need the obsidian for a spell. Oh, in fact, we need nevrak as well for a spell. So we'll be able to do both things that we want to. And that is very magical. Great weekend on the Wii on Minecraft. Yeah, exactly. Wait, on the on the Wii? I, I know what that is. On the week on Minecraft. Okay, so chat. Make your guesses right now. Will this rod give me... Obsidian when I destroy obsidian with it. Make your guesses because... Hey, it does. Wow. Yeah, that. Okay. OP. It's good OP, but it's OP. I'm glad that they did it that way, though. So that's my one obsidian. We can now use that to pick up other obsidian. And I'll destroy the entire thing. Okay, let's go. So the lava doesn't get destroyed, which is very useful to know about. Uh, before it destroys your stuff. But we now have 12 obsidian, enough to build a portal. And then also enough to use it in spells. So... One... Two. And then... One... Maybe maybe a couple. A one and a two couple. And then a one, two, three. And then a... Grab that. And then make the rest of this. I'm I, I'm really excited for the summon minion chat. What do you think the minion is gonna be? I've got I've got my uh, my my real curiosities about this one. Um, so crafting table, yes please. Make one hit. Put it down. Oh no, I I can't make it. I can't make the spell because even though also magic robe, uh, I can't make it because. Oh, I need an end stone. I didn't realize. I. I just assumed I had an end stone, but I was wrong to assume that. Okay, kind of sad. I could make an ice blast eventually. I could make a wind, a whirlwind eventually. But yeah, for now we could just hop into the never, start lightning striking stuff. Yeah, you know, what? let's let's start lightning striking stuff in the way that it was always meant to be done. So make a we'll move the obsidian in favor of some wood. I, I I really do think beating Minecraft as a wizard would be a lot of fun, chat. Let me know if you agree. Because, you know, we could totally make it a thing. So we'll try to get the lava to flow backwards. It's kind of a pain to actually get lava to reroute. Okay, we'll use all the wood to just bridge around. And now it has to go back here. Okay, there we go. This way. I don't know why I'm using this block. There are so many better ones for the job. But I'm doing it anyway. Okay, so just, just place all the blocks upwards, please. <laughs> okay, nice. There we go. So now we just have to lead it towards my... Lead it this direction. Towards my my wood. And then once it spills down Brand here... Stone, you can go into the end. Wait. <laughs> All I gotta do is go to the end. It's a it's a real easy task. People do it all the time for for much smaller purposes, and so I could do it, right? Yeah. So now the lava won't go close enough. There we go. Okay, it's lit on fire. Okay, it's it's unlit on fire. Let's place another one like over here, maybe. That's that's gonna light soon enough. If this is a real portal, which I have good reason to believe it is, chat, I will be in the Never in no time. No. Guess we're not going to the Never today. <laughs> I do like this Magix one so much more than I like the multi. Like, like, I think different add-ons for different people, but this is real cool. I this this gels with me immediately. 
Um, some real credit to its makers. I uh, just want to quickly make sure I get their name right. I think it's Cyclone. But I don't want to have them mixed up with anyone. So this was made by Cyclone. Real good job. I, I think they made... Um, am I, am I, are they the Godzilla people or have I mixed them? Oh, they make a lot. But they, did they also do Godzilla? They'd be at the bottom, I think. Uh, they made dinosaur. They, okay, so they, they made a few things. This is a really good example of one. And honestly, I'm impressed with it. I think it might be my favorite of the bat, of the bunch. 100% honest of you, chat. I think it might be my favorite. But yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I might play of this to beat Minecraft sometime. And I likely will be playing with the other two add-ons, even though I'm like a little more skeptical of them. Look at my look at my outfit. This is this is ludicrous. This is very silly, <laughs> but I love it. I love it. I really do. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching, Internet. I've had a great day today, but it has been a long one. I do need a little bit of chill time at the end of it. I um, I actually have uh, I have some family visiting right now too, so I'm gonna make sure I have time to uh, spend with them tomorrow. So we're gonna move everything around to make sure it works, chat. But now, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. No, I, I hope you have a good day. Let's not let's not be over enthusiastic about this. And I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Okay. I uh, yeah, I really love this. This is this, this is such a silly thing, but so cool. Oh no, I destroyed my portal. Well, won't be lying itself on fire anytime soon. But yeah, this is so so cool. And this is just using the four spells that I have so far. I can only imagine how much more fun it gets once you add the rest. But yeah, we'll try those out, and we'll maybe do a full review later. For now, thank you, and I'll see you next time.